Okay, I think I'm live. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Just waiting for YouTube to catch up. There we go. It's spinning. Hi, everyone. I'm here after quite a break. And uh, please forgive me. I'm recovering from some kind of a virus. So if I sound a bit funny. Hi, Angie. Hi, Deanna. How are you guys? I hope you all had a lovely um, Christmas break. I know I did. Let me see here. Okay. So today I'm going to be making some shabby chic embellishments and pockets. And I made these the other day. And I just love them. They look like this. And these would be great on the front of a card. In your junk journal, you could use it as a tuck spot. I've used lace and cheesecloth and buttons. Yeah, I'm glad it's over too, Deanna. Um, and then I used the Tim Holtz chipboard sentiments, vintage buttons, little flat backs, things like that. So I made those the other day. So we're gonna make some of those. And then I have also made this pocket and I'm using a digital kit. I just have to take my sweater off because all of a sudden I'm very hot. That's the problem with this virus, hot, cold, hot, cold. Anyway, I'm using this beautiful digital kit by Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy. It's really beautiful. Oh, good. I'm glad you had a good time, Angie. That's great. This didn't print all the way. I should have resized it, but that's okay. But you can see how pretty these images are. They're just gorgeous. They're just beautiful. I love them. I love the roses, and I love the ivories and the ecru and the cream colors with the very soft pinks. So that's the digital kit that I'm using. And you can find her, like I said, on Etsy. And here's some more of the pages. I'm going to make a journal out of it, I think. Um, I printed off quite a few of the pages to put in a journal. So you can see how pretty these pages are. Be a beautiful journal. So that's what my plan is. So I thought I would make some embellishments first. Look at that one. Love that. And then this one's all roses. And then this one's mostly plain. So I just have to trim the edges because I didn't resize them, but that's okay. Um, so I'm working with the embellishment bits today. And I'm using also, so that's what all these are. I cut these out before I went live. And this is a um, double pocket. So there's a pocket back here. Really, there is pocket back here and then a pocket here as well. And this will just fit really nicely inside a journal. Uh, on Etsy, it's a store called Shabby Dabby Doodah. <laughs> and she also has a YouTube channel. And um, But if you just go on Etsy, I don't know what this one's called. Vintage Notes, it's called. This one. So, and then I just used um, the heart and the cherish word, and then I put some cheesecloth back here in a tiny doily, so that finished off that little pocket. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then um, the uh, vintage music paper and the vintage dictionary paper are both available in my Etsy. Um, and the, the, this music paper is what I'm trying to spit out. It's from a 1922 uh, music book. So it's already beautifully aged. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then here is the dictionary paper again. Look at the aging on it. It's just beautiful. So you don't even really have to tea or coffee dye these because they've got the lovely 
aging on them. Hi, sorry. How are you? Lovely to see you. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So I think what I'm going to do next is make a couple of little things to go in here in these pockets. So I'm definitely going to use this card, but I only print it on paper. So I think what I'm going to do is back it on some music paper or something just to give it a bit more stability. And um, I'm just using my YooHoo stick. And then I've had this glue in my stash for ages. It's just called Adhesive Tech. It's a clear wet glue and it seems to work really good. So I'm using those today for glue. Oh, what you cooking for dinner? Sorry. So this I kind of want to have a bit of music music notes around it as well. So I think I want to put that like right there. So I'm just gonna glue it. And I'm edging everything with my Vintage Photo Distress Oxides. And I really do love this Yoohoo glue because it's not messy. Try and get that on straight. Ooh, pasta carbonara, yummy. That sounds very delicious. So let's I don't want this to be too wide because I want it to fit in the pocket. I may have to trim it down, so we'll see. I think that's going to be too wide. Let's see, it's a little wide. No, it's not too bad. That fits in there nicely. Okay, so now I'm going to edge it. I probably should have edged this first, duh. Oh well. We'll just do this. I mean, this you could even use um, for a pocket in your journal, even. If you um, glued this in your journal on three sides, then you could put a tag back there if you wanted to, but I think I'm going to put it in my pocket. I think that'll look nice in there. Yeah, that'll look cute. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I feel like I want a bit of cheesecloth. It is, yeah. When we took the tree down, um, we did another big cleaning. So my house is pretty clean right now, which I'm very happy about. I might put a little bit of cheesecloth. Uh, no. Let's see, what else should I put on here? Maybe a little bit of lace would be nice. What do we have? I have some of this fabric, which might be pretty. Just gonna make it raggedy. Maybe I should put that up here actually, because if I put too much down here, it's not gonna go back in the pocket. So I'm gonna put that up here. That's what we'll do. Yes, I've been working on my craft room too, Deanna. Um, but there's still like a ways to go for sure. But I've been trying to get everything organized because of the Etsy.
I really like this um, glue. I'm surprised I didn't use it sooner. It's very nice glue. And it has a stand up lid, which I like. That might be sticking out too much, so I'm just going to chop that right there and then fray it some more. Cute. And that will fit in there just like that. See, cute. And you can journal on that. All right, so let's make something for the next one, the next little pocket. And I have this little notes here, so maybe we'll do the same type of thing. Uh, might be too big. Let's use a smaller one. Yeah, let's use this one. They are beautiful papers. I love them. She does beautiful digital kits. I think I'll put it on this side. Yeah. I'm on an embellishment kick lately, you guys. It's just fun. They're just fun to make. And then you have them for your journals. And it's kind of nice because it incorporates everything I like, which is pretty paper and vintage paper and laces and trims. I'm going to trim that down a bit. Pretty, pretty. Now I have some paper flowers here, so maybe I can find a small, small little paper flower to put on this. That's kind of the right color. Like that one too. be pretty like that and then I could just put a little pearl in the center um, mom, 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 where did I put my flat back pearls one wonders where I put them or I could put a button there a button might be nice <laughs> Deanna that has happened to me before, girl. Angie, I used to craft in my bedroom too. You know, it's just the way things are. You do what you gotta do, girl. Yep, I like that button. So that's what we're gonna use. Good old button 10. Out of the way here. So you can see how simple and easy these are to do. But the effect is nice. 
And then there you have a pocket and two little tucks. Two little journaling spots. So super cute. So I'm going to show you how I did the pocket. We'll do that next. And I think we'll do music paper next. So I'm going to use the top of this again, I think. Let me just trim this because I like the word notes. So I'm kind of using this as my background. And then I'm taking and I'm just folding it at the corner. And I'm going to glue this down. So I'm going to use this because it's fast and easy. And I glued that down. And then this kind of goes like that. And of course, you're going to trim it up. So that goes like that. And then you take a second piece or you probably just cut this. So let me cut this down first. I'm just gonna line this up. Probably that wide would be good. And then probably there would be good. We'll just cut along the line so it's fairly straight. And then I think I want to just trim that a little bit more. It's a bit. So let's do this. Okay. So there's the start of your pocket and you can make as many um, pockets as you wish. And then this one, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to fold it down, starting at the corner. Hey, Mary, how are you? Hi, Debbie. Lovely to see all you ladies. We finally have sunshine here today. No snow. Snowed like crazy yesterday though. And then you just put the second one just down a bit lower like that. And then of course you go through and you trim that up. like that and that's how you get your pocket but before i glue those down i just want to edge up here just a little bit of the distress ink i just like the way that looks hi joey how are you hi marina lovely to see you So that's basically how you do the pocket. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to make pockets, but um, I just kind of like the way that looks and I like how it gives you the double. So then you just kind of go around three sides with your glue. And because this Yoohoo glue is so easy to deal with, that's what we're gonna use. stuff is great and it sticks really well. So make sure you don't glue the top or you won't have your pocket. And then of course at the end you're probably going to want to trim it up again. I 
I love using this vintage book paper from my Etsy. It's really nice to work with. And I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, Angel Dream Crafts now has a design team, and I'm very, very excited about it. So you guys are going to be seeing videos from everybody in the next few weeks who's on the team. So I'm very excited to work with all these ladies. They're very, very talented ladies. Actually, let me trim that one more time. Just trim that a little bit right there. Okay, Angie, have fun. That's nice that you're going out to eat. And we're just going to edge it. And then we're going to decorate it. But I think what I want to do is use one of these Tim Holtz words here. And that says noted, so note, so I don't want to put noted on it. What do I have for the little little bits here? I have a little heart stamp. That would be cute, and I could put follow your heart on there. That'd be cute. Let's edge this. Yes, there's some very talented ladies, as you know, Amy Love, um, Mary the Craft Hoarder are on the team. And uh, they're both mods on my channel here. And then I have Kim Cornwell, Misty Blackburn, and a lady who, um, her name is Aurora. And um, what is the name of her channel? Her channel is um, Texas Loves, oh, what is it? Loves to cry. Oh, my goodness, I can't remember. I think it's Texas Loves Crafts, but I'll find it. I'll find it. Anyway, I'm going to have a video with all of their um, links and everything in it coming up very soon. But they're all very talented um, people. And her name is Aurora Rodriguez. Why can't I remember the name of her channel? Oh, I'll tell you, this virus has just made me go a little cuckoo. So I'm just kind of looking to see what I have for little bits of lace. Because you know I got little bits of lace everywhere. That's something I do have. Just want a bit of tool or something. Just to kind of go behind that word. I think that would be really nice. Just to kind of go back here like this. I don't know, it just kind of softens it like that. And then, what did I do with my bag of flowers? There they are. Oh, good for you, Joey. Well, I'm glad you're here. Ooh, that might be perfect. Look at that, it's like the perfect color. That might be really pretty. Just like that. It's fun to craft together, isn't it? Oops. I'm just going to put a little bead of glue along here and then put this down. And then I'll put this down. I 
want that to drip everywhere. Okay. And then we'll put this here. And then some on the back. You can see how fast these come together. I like this flower on here. So there's our second pocket. Let's just fluff up the flower a bit. So there we go. All right, so now we wanna make just some other smaller embellishments. Let's see what else I've got cut out here. Quite a few of these little stampy things. I got tickets and flowers. Let's get rid of these little bits of paper here. <clears throat> okay, so I think I want to just fussy cut around this one a little bit more because it's got like a scalloped edge, which I know is kind of a pain, but. I don't have the scissors handy that makes the scallop edge, which would have made this a lot easier, but we'll see how this goes. It looks like a big stamp. Well, thanks guys. Yes, you do make beautiful cards. Sorry, that's very true. I'm not much of a card maker myself. Oh, I remember what it is now. I remember her YouTube channel. It's Texas Craft Lover. That's what it is because it was Texas Yarn Lover because she's a knitter. That did not cut very well there. So, and her name is Aurora Ramirez and uh, she makes really beautiful junk journals. So please go over and and Kim Cornwell is Kimber Creations on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure you know Amy and Mary. And Misty is Mac Jewelry and more. You probably know Misty too. So please go over and show them all some love if you wouldn't mind because uh, there's some talented ladies for sure. Okay, that's good enough. I did this one already, so we're going to do like these little stampies here. Let's do those. Let's use, do I have any cut? No, I don't. Let's use some dictionary paper to back these ones. I think that would be super cute. Maybe what I'll do is glue them down on here first. That'd probably be easier. Smart, Kim. There's that one. Oh, yeah, I should have edged them. I always forget to do that. 
It's a good thing about the Distress Oxides. You don't have to um, ink them up, ink your blender up very much because the it, they're so inky. Uh, it stays on your blender for quite a while. There we go. Now we're going down. There you are. Hi, Aurora. I was just talking about your channel. That's Aurora right there. I could not remember your channel. I finally remembered it. So I'm glad you're here. So now everybody can go sub to you. I was just saying how talented you are. Well, if you do, Deanna, go over to White Rose Crafts and get it um, and use my coupon, which is Kim15. And there's a space in between the Kim and the 15. And you'll get 15% off. Because they've got all the oxides and all the inks over there. Okay, so now I'll cut these out. But if you forget the code, just message me on Facebook, hon. Good thing about um, the dictionary paper is you kind of have a line to follow to keep it straight. See, it just frames it. Put the paper behind it, and it makes it a bit more sturdy, too. That's true. You can never have too many inks. That is very true. I do love the oxides, though, because they, they really give a nice kind of chalky finish. Um, so I, I just like them. And um, I didn't think I would like them for edging as much as the inks, but I think I like them better. But I'm telling you, the distress inks, they last forever. I've got inks here that I've had for probably six years that I barely use. Like I was saying to Mary the other day, like this one, crack pistachio and mowed lawn and pine needles. Like I've had these for six years and I barely have used them and they're still so moist. So they last forever. Like, I've never had to refill them. So, they're good inks. You definitely get your money's worth out of them. That's for sure. Okay, so there's the three little stamps and I do have like my little Paris stamp here so I'm kind of thinking I might I might stamp on it with the distress let's let's see yeah that looks cute I like it see it just gave it a little so it's kind of like a fake stamp Big postage stamp. Yeah, I like it. Postmark Paris. Hey, Shannon, how are you, girl? So today is the first day I've been in my craft room um, since before the holidays. Since my last live, pretty much, because of the holidays. And then Hubby and I have been sick since new year's and i just have not wanted to do anything with this virus so let's see what should i do what should i do so that's those and then you can put some cheesecloth behind them as well when you go to add them to a tag or something which i might make some tags next 
Um, could I make, actually, that might be cute for one of them. Let's cut this out. Okay, sorry. Glad you're better, Shannon. Oh, it's been awful here. My daughter and my grandson were sick over the holidays, and I, that's where my husband and I got this virus from, and it's not been fun. Not fun. And then let's see, probably this one would be good, and maybe the playing card. this nine instead which one would be better that's going to cover that up too much so maybe we will use the big one i might cover that up too hmm no i think i might just make tags with those for those i mean but i'm going to cut these cards out because i think they're really cool this kit would make a really great um, Valentine journal because of all the hearts. I Yeah, I'm glad you're not sick too. Oh, it hasn't been fun, Shannon. Doug and I have been really ill. I've been sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and it, you know, when you sleep too much, then you're just like, you don't feel good because you slept too much, but you can't help it because you're so tired because you're sick. It's not fun. Thing I like about digitals is that you can print them off many, many times. Boy, that is crooked. I couldn't cut a straight line if my life depended on it, you guys. And these would be cute if you wanted to sew around them, which, you know, I may do. Because um, it always looks nice when you sew around things. But I thought I would show today how to just glue. Because not everybody sews or has access to a sewing machine. So um, It's called um, Vintage Notes by Shabby Dabby Duda on Etsy. So if you just type in Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy, and she also has a YouTube channel, you will find all her kits. She's got quite a few, and this one's called uh, Vintage Notes, and I love it. It's so pretty. It's got all the pretty colors I like. So, All right, let's see what I do have cut out here. Let's get all this over here and get rid of some of this extra paper. Notes. Get rid of this. Okay. I want to cut out the rest of these words. Oh, good. That's good, Shanny. I'm feeling a lot more positive for 2020 as well. I'm excited about everything that's coming and the new DT and my little store growing. So I'm pretty happy about that.
And I'm thinking of starting up the swaps again in the Angel Dream Crafts Facebook group. So if you guys haven't joined my Facebook group, the link is in the description box underneath this video. Please come over and join because I would really like to get the swaps going again. We we did really good last year when we had them and everybody joined in. It was lovely. And that's pretty much how I met Shannon. Isn't it, Shannon? That's how we got to know each other as we did a swap. And now we're like, you know, wonderful friends. So it's it's good to have that to get to know somebody, I think. Okay. So now I have words and I have these little stampy things. So let's see what we can do here. Kind of build on these. Let's first cut a bit of cheesecloth. Just cut a chunk off here and then I'll snip at it. And hmm. I'm going to get out some paper flowers. See what I got in my flower bag. Thank you, Deanna. You're a sweetheart. There's a pink. And another pink. I'm just sticking with like the light pinks and the ivories. I think that's the best way to do this. What else do we have in here? Oh, some of these. I don't know where they came from. There's another one. Little pink pieces of lace. There is a tiny bit of green on here. I wonder if that would be cute with the white on it. Just for something different. There's another one. Pardon me while I pick through my bag of flowers. I don't want snow either. Is it snowing there, Deanna? Because finally the sun is out here. There's a pink button. if I had any more of those little pink lace things in here. Doesn't look like I do. Oh well. Oh, there's a key. And it's flat. That'd be cute. That's what we'll do. All right. So let me move all these little embellishment bits over here. And I'll probably get out some more buttons too. So the secret to kind of doing this type of thing is layering. And I think what I want to do is put cheesecloth behind this and then glue it down. I think that would be pretty. I'm just gonna kind of pull it apart. Kind of do like that, I think. But I want to ink it first. Oh, I hope it doesn't snow here. It's only January and I'm already tired of the snow.
So I hope you can see. So I'm going to put that down there. I'm just going to tuck aside for a minute. And then um, do I have do what I did with those. Tim Holtz words. Where would I have put those? I have these chipboard ones, but I thought I had my other ones here. Of course, I can't find them. That might be cute at the top there, and I could use it as a pull. And then maybe put a little flower and a button right there. That's what I think I'm going to do. Okay. So let's... some glue down. Oh no, I didn't hear that. You know, I've been so upset about all the fires in Australia that uh, I haven't paid attention to stuff anywhere else. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. There we go. Okay, let's cut that out first before we add these. I'm just going to kind of cut around it a tiny bit. Just move that cheesecloth out of the way. Go right there. Just edge it. Problem with the wet glue. I think I might use the Yoohoo for the rest of them because the wet glue makes the paper kind of bend in ways I don't want it to when I'm trying to ink it. You know what I mean. Yeah, that'll dry fine, but okay. So. We're going to do this, and I think I might, I think I might use a little hot glue on the lace right there. That'll be cute for a little pull tab. Yeah, for sure. I, it's just been completely devastating. Um, in Australia, I just feel absolutely horrible. The wildlife, oh. I mean, they've lost so much there now, it's just very sad. Let's move that over just a tiny bit there. There we go. So now this should work very nicely just to tuck in here and it does it's still a bit wet from the glue but that'll fit really nice in there and then you've got your little pull tab here so that's going to go in there and then what should we do for the next pocket 
maybe we'll use um, this ticket here. Maybe we'll just kind of do the same thing and add a little, a little pull tab, but this one I'll just put a little button on. Oh, I forgot to ink it, of course. Uh. And you can use like coffee dyed paper on the back. Um, and you can, like I said, sew around them. That gives them a lot of stability when you sew around them. It just finishes them off nicely if you want to do that, but uh, you don't have to. Button, every tiny little button right there. A little off white button. And we're just going to put a bit of glue there. There. And you could put two in there, but I kind of like it like that. So there's that one. So there we have two really pretty pockets to put in your journals. Welcome back, Shannon. So, um... Let's maybe make some of these, a couple of these, because I want to show you how I made them. I showed these at the beginning. These are the um, little embellishments I made, and I love them. These are available in my Etsy store as well, these guys. But I'll show you how to make them using this little digital set. Now, do I have a pad of paper? Yes, I do. Because I think I want something a bit, okay, a bit more sturdy. I have this paper pad and I really like it. So let's see what's in here that I could use. I don't know, these colors might be too strong for these. For this digital kit so I may end up just using a book paper after all yeah they're a bit strong hmm what else do I have what else do I have let me see what I got here other paper here I also have do you remember the Edith Holden um, pages I decoupaged a couple weeks ago? I also have those, and these would be great to make your own stamps as well, which maybe after I do this next thing, I'll show you that. But these are the little the envelopes I made that um, I still have to sew around. And I do have some tags here that I made, so I don't know if these would be any good on here or not yeah that's not bad i can probably live with this that's not bad i just don't want it to be too busy so maybe we'll just put those aside for now save those for another project What else I got? I thought I had a paper pad here, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I do have some smaller paper, smaller music paper. Well, okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just double up the music and the book paper, the music and the, um, or just fold in half, maybe make a tag that way, or fold it this way, and then glue it, and then I can cut out a tag. You know what I mean? Kind of do it that way. Yeah, that's what I'll 
I'll do. Let's glue this together. That'll make it a bit sturdier. Nope, don't do that. Just a little fold it. Okay. So I can probably get two tags out of this. So let's do that. So here's how I make a tag. Because <clears throat> you want to get your corners. So I cut one corner. And I take my piece and put it over here. So you've got your piece from here. And you want to flip it so it's the opposite. And then I just put it over here on this side. And then cut it. And if it looks a bit wonky, you can just, or if the slant is too big, you can do this. It does not have to be perfect, and my tags never are. <laughs> so we'll do this again. There we go. So there you have two tags. And let me use my, my puncher. And I have something stuck in the hole, of course. There we go. Nope, it's still there. There we go. And there's the hole. We can add some fiber or something there. Maybe put a brad in it later after we decorate it. So there's two tags. So now we've got a mess. That's what we've got. Okay. <laughs> All my bits here. We'll see what we can put on these tags. I don't know, is it just me or do you lose things on your desk when you're working? I know I didn't get up. It's so funny. But you just lose things, right? Do you guys lose things on your desk like I do? Okay. So I might put that on here and then add a sentiment. And then this one. Might be cute to put the roses there. I could put some seam binding underneath it or some ribbon. Where's that other nine of hearts? There it is. I feel like that's what I want to do on this one. And I'll put the seam binding underneath it or ribbon. 
I think that's what I do. Maybe this. Kind of like that. And then we'll put one of the Tim Holt words on it. Okay. I like a more better. All right, let's move these out of the way and then we'll do these last two tags before we end the live. Yeah, the cards are in that digital kit and her digital kits, they were only like a couple of bucks. So not expensive at all. Really not expensive. And the, like I said, the great thing about digitals is you can use them a million times. If you want, you never run out. So yeah, doubling up the music paper made a difference. That made it a lot sturdier. And I love the book paper with this digital kit. Can't wait to put this journal together. I think it'll be adorable. Oh no, I'm gonna use a Tim Holtz word on this one, I think. This one first. We're going to do that, I think. And then we're going to put the roses there. And let's see what we have for words here. I just put noted on here. Maybe put some cheesecloth and a bit of lace underneath that. I just love the way cheesecloth looks with this kit in particular. I don't know why. Uh, it sort of got buried. I'm guessing yours got buried. Oh. <laughs> yes. Mine was buried. I had to unbury it this morning before I could uh, print this off, guys. So. I understand. So we're gonna do that. And then I think I'm just gonna add like maybe little little bits of lace and things on here because it would be pretty. So let me just cut this here. I'm just cutting a piece of this flower off this lace. Lace looks so pretty with uh, vintage papers. Maybe I should put this with this one. Oh yeah, let's put that one up there. I'll put that one on there. It's too big for that one. I don't want that on there. I want something smaller. Maybe this. <laughs> okay, I like that. All right, let's put that together.
hopefully I'll get that on straight. I might have to put some of that wet glue underneath there, but we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Because I don't think the chipboard's going to hold with that Yoohoo. Hi, Susan. How are you? Well, I'm glad you're here. We are making some embellishments for junk journals. Okay. And I'm just going to pop a bit of this wet glue under here. Just to hold that edge down. Just make sure I have that on kind of straight. And then this, I will make sure I don't put it on upside down, first of all. And then I'm going to use the wet glue again to put these flowers on. Try not to get too much on here. And you can decorate these. Um, I think I might put a little flower on top here as well, actually. Right there. Something like that with a button, I think would be cute. Okay, let me find a button. Oh, thanks, Susan. Okay. So there's that tag. And then the back, you know, you can just journal on. But I love the um, colors of this digital kit and then the soft pinks and then the bits of lace and cheesecloth. It just kind of all works well together. And you can see these will look really lovely together in a journal. So I'm excited to put this journal together. So maybe next week um, we'll work on the inside of the journal. Um, I'll get my coffee dyed paper already and and that will work on the cover and stuff like that because I have an image that I would really like to use for the cover. So I'm going to put this piece of lace up here. So I ended up not um, putting any seam binding, but that's okay. Doesn't really need it. We're just going to edge this. Oh, I should have edged the tag. Of course, I didn't edge the tag first. Bam. Oh, I should probably trim that. That's a little crooked. I think I'll use this word from the kit. This is Amore. 
instead of a Timmy word. And we'll just kind of do sort of the same. Actually, I like that flower better. Same kind of thing and a button. All right, so I want a piece of lace. We're going to put that there. Put that there. And a little piece of cheesecloth. Hey, it's Grappinology. How are you? Gina, yes. I'll remember your name eventually, hon. <laughs> My memory, I swear. And we're just going to put a bit of cheesecloth behind the Amour, but let me... Um, we're going to do this first. And get that on straight, I hope. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a bit of white glue on it. Cheesecloth there, and then some glue on here. I really love this Yoohoo glue for this kind of thing. Um, it goes fast for the layering, and yeah, I like it. So I think I might put that up here on top of the lace, like that. And again, I'm gonna get another little button because I just think buttons work really well for this. Yeah, they are good for Valentine's. I was saying I'm making a journal, so these are gonna be perfect for the journal. Um, and I'm using um, a kit called Vintage Notes by Shabby Dabby Duda on Etsy. And the music paper and dictionary paper from my Etsy. And you can add, you know, like a couple of flat back pearls, which I may do. And... Uh, you know, or whatever you want to do, but I kind of like the way they look. I like the shabbiness of them with the cheesecloth and the, the netting and lace. And then here is our two pockets with our little tucks in here. And these are just going to go right inside. And then, of course, you can see it says notes in the back, and that is from the digital kit as well and then there's this one which i love the numbers and that one says notes as well and then there's this little guy that we just tucked in here and then i use the heart and some cheesecloth and cherish and then this one as well so yeah there's lots of hearts it is good for valentine's for sure so that's what we made today, guys. So I hope that you like it and that you will go over and check out her kit because, um, and once again, here's the papers for the kit. Oh, there's my Timmy words. These are the papers, and I have a couple here still with more embellishments. I bought two of them. I bought the pages and the um, little embellishments. 
Um, so you may want to do that. But again, they're only a couple of bucks and you can print them as many times as you want. No, this is not mine, but um, I am working on digital kits. So that is going to happen in the next month or so. I am working on digital kits for my shop. So, but this one is by Shabby Dabby Doo on Etsy. And it's called Vintage Notes. So you can see how, I mean, you could cut all this out or you could just use these as pages. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is um, on the back side of these, because these are going to be pages in the journal, right? Um, I'm going to put a stencil down and maybe use my distress oxides or some sprays or something um, to get kind of a, a grungier pattern on the other side here. But I mean, they're so pretty. You know, I really, really like these, this paper line. Super pretty. I love that one. It's all roses. Who doesn't love all roses? And this one's kind of plain as well. It's just very, very faint. I don't think the camera will pick it up. Very, very faint little things on it. So I may do some something with this as well. But those are the pages that go in the journal and then plus some copy dyed pages. And then we'll work on the cover next week. I do have another journal that I'm working on as well. This is going to be a DT project for White Rose and you're getting a sneak peek. This will be up next week. Um, it's not finished yet so I don't want to, you know, show too much but, you know, there it is. And I made um, some coffee dyed envelopes. And I made this, which is cool. This was in my um, recycle and it was for a furniture shop. And it opened up like this and like this. And then these two opened up. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna cover that. And that's gonna go in my journal here like this on this side. So you can open it this way and then this way. And then that way. So always look through your recycle bin. And this is another envelope I made. And I used the lemon craft paper from White Rose Crafts for this. Hey, Karen. So that's my journal you'll see on my blog next week. And then this um, we're going to do next week, putting it together with the um, with the paper, and then I will figure out what I want to do on the cover. I have an image that I think is going to work really well for the cover. So two journals on the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed that today, and um, I will be back next Tuesday as always at 11. So I hope you guys will all join me at 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, please join the Angel Dream Crafts uh, group on Facebook. The link is in the description. And please check out my Etsy store for the uh, vintage music paper and uh, dictionary paper and all kinds of other great things. I have laces and all kinds of great stuff. Lots of bling. Lots of bling and more to come. So thank you guys all for being here. I really appreciate it. Yes, please watch the replay if you just got here. Um, because I did show a lot of a lot of things and how I made all of these, so you can see how to make them. Um, the word strips I showed earlier are the ones that are in my Etsy. That's these ones. Hang on. These are up in my Etsy, and I sell sets of these. So there's a set of four of these for sale in my Etsy. So that's them. Let me put these in this hand if I can. Can I do this? There we go. So that's what they are, Gina. So yeah, they're up in my Etsy and the link to my Etsy is down below. Um, and if you're wanting custom made ones of these in certain colors for your journals, just message me on Facebook or YouTube or, or Etsy and uh, I can do custom ones for you. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you all for coming. 
Oh, it's not working. Okay, let me see if I can find it for you before I close. I will get the link to her store. One second. Okay, this is the link to her store. Oh, it works. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, definitely check out her store. Um, I love her stuff. I've bought from her several times. I have another one um, that I need to download still that I bought a while ago that I haven't used yet. Um, it's much more colorful than this, but I just kind of was feeling these colors today. So thank you guys for coming and I will see you all next week at 11 p.m. 11 a.m. Not 11 p.m. <laughs> next Tuesday. Bye guys. Have a great week.